Well, thank you, Bob. Obviously, this is not the way the Yankees wanted to start the weekend with the Red Sox winning and then with the Blue Jays winning as well. The Yankees want to get that magic number done with, but they lose a very tough game by the score of 4-3. to three. And we can say that the Yankees came out flat, but you have to give a lot of credit to the Rays, yeah. who are a pretty good run prevention team. Yeah, you can see why they're a first-base ball club. They have a good bullpen. They have decent starters. And they come up with some big hits. And they got a young player that, that might be a superstar in this league for a long time. And then, you know, the Yankees, uh, they, they employed their bullpen in a way that you could say is curious. They certainly didn't use their top-level relievers. And you can't be saving anybody at this point for the postseason because the postseason, there's no guarantee it's going to happen. And up until um, Albert Abreu, everything worked out, but they brought in Abreu to face the guy you said, Wanda Franco, and it did not work out. It, it did not work out, and Franco's been uh, a godsend for these uh, Rays. Since he's been with the club, he's been hitting very well. He comes through with the big hit tonight that gives the Rays essentially the win. The Yankees did try and come back a little bit, but uh, uh, the Rays got the win tonight in the first game of this series. And if you want a second guess just a little bit other than Abreu, Herman hasn't pitched yeah. for a long, long time, two months pretty much, and uh, they brought him out for the second inning because yeah. they're trying to squeeze more outs out of him. Well, he kind of opened the door for the Rays when he walked a couple of guys, and then you had to bring in Abreu, and then all of a sudden Franco gets the hit, and all of a sudden it looks like it's uh, just out of the reach for the night, but then the Yankees offense came alive in the bottom of the ninth inning. They hadn't had a runner in scoring position since the first inning, uh, and then they just uh, fell a little bit short. Yeah, they showed that fight that they've shown for the last couple of months in the ninth inning, but there were so many strange things about that ninth inning, and I know that the Tampa Bay Rays and the Yankees are all about analytics, and yeah. they play the four outfielder game, but after Stanton got that double, things unfolded there like you can't believe that they happened. They let him take third base, and they let Gallo get that bunt, and that kind of started the rally, and they almost lost the game because of yeah, it. Yeah, you know, Stanton going to third, I, I didn't think that was such a big deal. But that set up the base hit, the bunt single for Gallo. And I, I just thought that was a big play because that's the one that really opened up the door for the Yankees to maximize what they could in the ninth inning there. They could only get two, and they fell one short. Well, the Yankees got a, a big hit then uh, from Urshela, and they got a big hit from the veteran Brett Gardner to close within one. So the tying run, pinch runner Tyler Wade is at second base. And uh, the Yankees have some injuries. And one of the injuries is DJ LeMahieu. They didn't use him earlier to pinch hit for Odell. Odor, Odor against the righty Kittredge. I guess it's lefty righty, but uh, this is a guy who hasn't played that much, and a lot of, uh, of this season is on the line in that game. Yeah, it was, and it tells me that uh, LeMayu might be hurt more than we think yeah. because he didn't start the game. He didn't use him in a big spot. Uh, he had no, uh, several places in the ball game where he could have used him, and he didn't. So it came down to Odor trying to hit Kittredge, who's an all-star reliever, and it didn't happen. He made some good pitches. I thought Odor had some good swings early in the count, but that last one was a pitch that was away. It was the first pitch that was away from him, and he couldn't reach it. Well, the Yankees fall painfully just one run short, but there are two more games to go. The Yankees win these next two. They don't have to worry about what anybody else is doing, and tomorrow they'll send Jordan Montgomery out to the mound to at least get one of those two wins, Bob.